I have the Xiaomi Redmi K30 Pro, also known as the Poco F2 Pro. And today I'm going to show you how to install TWRP as the custom recovery on this device. So before we begin, you're going to need to make sure that the bootloader of this device is unlocked. If you're unfamiliar with how to do that or any other parts of this tutorial, look in the video description as I will have links to other tutorials that will guide you to that. You're also going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. And you're going to need to download the TWRP image file to your PC. I've gone ahead and downloaded Majisk on the Redmi K30 Pro as well because I want to root the device after I install TWRP, which I'll be doing at the end of the video. So once you have your device ready, we're going to power off so that we can reboot the smartphone into fastboot mode. Once the device has been booted into fastboot mode, we can then connect it to the PC with a USB cable, and then we can open up a command prompt in the same folder as our TWRP image file. So here we have the current image file that we have downloaded this is the unofficial version of TW, TWRP for this device. When the official version, or if the official version, goes live, I will be sure to update the download link in the video description to keep you updated. Again, the process will be the exact same, whether we're doing the official version or the unofficial version. <clears throat> and after you download this file, we're even going to change the file name to twrp.img so that the command that we enter in a second is all going to be the same for everybody no matter if you're on the official version or a version that was released two weeks ago. So once we have this image file we're going to copy and paste it into the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. Then we're going to open up a command prompt a Windows PowerShell or a terminal in the same folder as your ADB and Fastly tools, which is also the same folder as this TWRP image file. And in that, you're going to type out the command fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img and I'm going to be copying and pasting the, both of these commands into the video description as well so you can just copy and paste instead of having to type it out but either way it is up to you and we are going to press enter on the keyboard to execute that image or that command you can see it is sending that file to the smartphone which went OK, and then it wrote that file to the partition, to the recovery partition, and that went OK as well. With that done, we then, this is important, we then need to immediately boot into this image file. One of the, you know, the recommended way is to just type out fast boot space boot space twrp.img. Now when we press enter on the keyboard you're gonna see the Redmi K30 Pro or your Poco F2 Pro you're gonna see that smartphone reboot and it's gonna boot you into recovery mode which is now TWRP which is now this custom recovery. So we press enter the smartphone has rebooted and I'm going to show you it taking us into TWRP. So as I said, 
the smartphone went to a black screen for a few seconds as soon as I executed that command. Then you saw, or then I saw the TWRP splash screen, and then it switched over to the TWRP main menu. Now, if you're at this point right now, you currently have TWRP installed, and if that's all you want, then you're good to go. From here, you can simply tap reboot and then tap on system, and that will boot you into the Android operating system. From there, every time you boot into recovery mode, it's going to take you to this custom recovery that we have just installed. However, if you remember, I told you that I went ahead and downloaded Majisk. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and tap on install, and I'm going to locate the download folder, which is where Chrome automatically puts downloads. You're going to see this Majisk zip file. We tap it, swipe the blue or white arrows to begin the installer. And that's going to install Majisk via TWRP. With that done, we're going to see the wipe cache and reboot system buttons down here at the bottom. If you want, you can simply tap the reboot system button. And that will do basically what we're going to do here is just in case you want to explore the menu when you are ready to go back into Android, we can just tap on reboot and then tap on system like that. Either way, it will get us back into the Android operating system. And with that done, now this device is going to have TWRP as well as Majisk installed. And then we have the APK now. So there you have it. That is how to install TWRP on the Redmi K30 Pro, as well as how to install TWRP on the Poco F2 Pro, and even to get Majisk on there afterwards.